Example four, combinations of transformations. So now we're going to do transformations that we're doing one and another one. Now the important thing to know about this is that you have to do it in the stated order. Order matters. So whatever you see first, do that first and do the next one second. So here is an example. Let the graph of G be a vertical shrink by a factor of four. So we do that first. And then the next thing is we have to do followed by a translation three units up. So our function we're transforming is f of x equals absolute value of x. So recalling from earlier, if you're doing a vertical shrink by a factor of one-fourth, you're just going to multiply that one-fourth to that entire function. So it's going to be one-fourth absolute value of x. That is our h of x. So that's the first thing that we did to transform it. Now we're not done. We have to translate it three units up. So three units up, that means we're going to add to the end. So here, so we added three. So therefore, our new g of x is one-fourth absolute value of x plus three. Again, the important thing to note is that we do what's first. So it says vertical shrink by factor four. We do that first, and then we add the three at the end. Now say, for instance, you did it in an incorrect order. So let me do the incorrect way. Incorrect. So say that I started, I had absolute value of x plus, of absolute value of x, so I started there, and then I'm like, oh, okay, three units up. So I'm not doing it in the order, I'm adding three instead. Then I'm gonna do the vertical shrink of one fourth. Now remember when you do that, you multiply to the front and the back. So when you do that, you would get absolute value of one fourth of x, plus three-fourths. So notice it is not the same answer. So this is incorrect. You have to do it in the correct order or you get an incorrect uh, function. It's much like PEMDAS, right? If you don't do the correct order of operations, it, you get a, an incorrect answer. So let me do number seven. So let me do one more example. We have a translation six units down and then it's followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So let's do the six units down. We're going to take, and this is our function, we're going to six units down means that we're going to subtract six from the back, right? So absolute value of x, six units down means subtracted by six. The next thing is followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So remember what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the whole function by a negative. And remember, you have to distribute. So therefore, this new function becomes g of x equals negative absolute value of x minus, I'm sorry, plus 6. So we translated 6 units down first, then we did the, uh, the reflection in the x-axis, and then so notice this is what the function becomes. Let me try one more. Translation 4 units to the right. So it's four units to the right, that is an inside, something we're writing inside to the right is actually opposite, so negative four. So four units to the right, I did that. And then three units down, so three units down, I'm just going to subtract three from the outside. And so I am done. That is it for that example. So I want you to go ahead and try 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and uh, pause the video, and when you come back, I'll have the answers for you. Hey, here it is if you tried it out. So number nine, translation eight units up. So I added eight, and then it moved three units to the left, so what's plus three in the inside? So opposite, left and right is always inside, up and down is always outside. Two units left, so I added two in the inside, and then seven units up, plus seven. This one is two units down, so I had to do minus two, and then followed by a vertical stretch by four. So notice I did 4, and then I actually have to distribute. So it's g of x equals 4 times absolute value of x minus 8. So you have to distribute. The next one, vertical stretch by 4, so that's first. Then you move it 2 units down, minus 2. In this case, you didn't have to distribute because the first thing you did was the vertical stretch by 4. So you just multiplied by 4. There was nothing at the back. Then you subtracted 2. So notice that they're different. 13, translation 3 units up, so we removed it up 3, then we have to reflect it in the x-axis, so therefore we have to multiply by the negative, and then distribute to the front and back, so notice that's what it is here. The last one, it's 3 transformations, so vertical stretch by 3, 
and then translate two units to the right, and then nine units down. So this is three absolute value. Then we have this vertical stretch first, then translate two units to the right, so minus two, and then nine units down. So in the stated order, this is all we have to do. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.